Both the HTC One M9 HIMA and Samsung Galaxy S6 are at the top of the most anticipated smartphones of 2015 list, and for good reason. Expectations for these flagships are enormously high and many say that neither company will be able to meet those expectations. There are rumors about bending screens, fingerprint sensors, eye tracking sensors, optical zoom, 3D interfaces, 4K resolution displays, thin bodies, and bezel-less design, but most would like to have them all in one phone, which is nearly impossible. The Galaxy S6 as well as the HTC One M9 HIMA aim to be pinnacles of design for their manufacturers, and both have promised innovation for their flagships. Samsung has uninspiredly dubbed the Galaxy S6 as Project Zero, on account of the fact that the company wanted to start the design and development process from scratch. With that in mind, everybody that heard the news decided that Samsung would completely amaze everybody with a new design on the Galaxy S6, without considering the fact that there isn't much the South Korean company can do, save for maybe a hanging edge display or some flexible tech, even optical zoom without compromising the design. Our expectations are equally high when it comes to the HTC One M9 HIMA. Some say that if HTC wants to get ahead of the competition, it will have to come up with thin bezels and an overall bezel-less design to impress. At the same time, people were asking for much improved cameras both on the front and the rear, while having excellent front-facing speakers, as well as a fingerprint sensor, wireless charging and a massive battery. Some users go as far as saying that the HTC One M9 will come with a flexible design. As you can imagine, OEMs try to listen to their customers as best as they can, but they can't make the impossible happen. With that in mind, we are going to present what we, think, we know about both the Galaxy S6 and the HTC One M9 HIMA so that we might be able to figure out which will end up being the more popular device upon its launch. To be blunt, both devices are highly expected appearances at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Neither of the manufacturing companies have confirmed that they would be introducing their handsets at the MWC, but it seems like the most likely stage, perfect for flagships and the timing is also great. Until we have confirmation from Samsung or HTC that their flagships are indeed set for an MWC launch, we will just speculate on which will end up being more popular.